The World Intelligence Congress opened on Tuesday. The two-day event is one of China's major artificial intelligence meetings where new technology is unveiled, including a smart community that can provide maintenance repairs through AI systems. And a vehicle road collaboration system also debuted. The system notifies bus drivers of unpredictable traffic conditions to help reduce mishaps. The event normally attracts up to 300,000 people in Tianjin to discuss pioneering trends in intelligent technologies, but it went online this year because of the pandemic. Joining me now is James Sung. He's chief strategist at Zocus Strategy Strategic Marketing, a Chinese-American firm. Um, he joins us now from Shenzhen. So, James, just a few things there from the World Intelligence Congress. How important was it for this event to continue even online? What caught your eye? Well, uh, for, first of all, it's uh, it's so good to see you, Ling. It's uh, it's been such a long time. Um, you know, the World Intelligence. Uh, conference is so important now because uh, even uh, as COVID-19 goes on and even as you know the world is in turmoil it's more important to you know have all the technical uh, expertise in place uh, to help solve the world problems because AI is definitely something that can solve um, a lot of these issues that we're facing uh, especially we're looking at you know COVID-19 uh, everything from uh, hardware, you know, uh, to uh, to software, to uh, co you know, software. We're looking at con contact tracking. Uh, we can trace people uh, using you know big data from uh, AI. Uh, we're looking at um, let's say uh, for hardware, uh, we have uh, you know these uh, smart eyeglasses now that can you know measure temperature of people. Uh, no matter uh, where where they are, and as long as we're looking at them, then we can see if they're, um, you know, if they're a carrier of COVID, possibly. So there's a lot of solutions now that this conference is helping to solve. Yeah, you and I have talked a lot about AI in the medical field, and now nowadays everyone's doing their virtual doctor's appointments. How would you say COVID has impacted the tech industry there in China uh, with the lockdowns? You're at the center of it all in Shenzhen. Where do things stand, and what have you seen there activity-wise? Uh, well, uh, luckily, Shenzhen is actually almost back to normal now. I mean, certainly, you know, when we go out, we're still wearing face masks. Uh, but even uh, the Shenzhen Auto Show was actually uh, is going on this week. And uh, a lot of uh, what is, uh, what's, what's really popular in AI now, obviously, you know, before we're talking about... Um, maybe Alexa or Siri as being AI, but now, you know, the technology, hardware and software-wise, has improved so much that we can talk about, you know, AI in helping uh, self-driving cars even. So um, it's, uh, you know, even though we are in this, uh, you know, COVID-19 situation, uh, China right now is almost back to normal. and. Everyone is gathering together. I mean, the auto show was actually a physical show. So it wasn't an online show. Everyone was uh, in there touching cars. I mean, certainly all the precautions were in place. Uh, but it's so important that, you know, the idea exchanges are still taking place. And certainly the scientists are still working on, uh, working on these uh, AI solutions. Now, I can tell you um, self-driving cars have come such a long way. Uh, and AI is uh, is really been paramount to that. Um, I'll give you a quick example. Like uh, I'm looking for a car for myself, and uh, certainly I want a car now with autopilot. And Tesla, for example, uh, you know their autopilot. Uh, you actually need to pay extra like seven or eight thousand dollars for their autopilot. And uh, I was uh, I was in with a car manufacturer out of China, Hosen Auto. And uh, their entire car that runs an autopilot is twenty thousand dollars. So um, you know, certainly China is able to do a lot of these things that uh, a lot of the other countries are, are not. And uh, certainly now is uh, is uh, is a time that we still need to continue to innovate. That's good news to hear that things are almost back to normal in Shenzhen. Have you noticed any delays or slowdowns in the manufacturing part of this technology? Yeah, certainly. Um, 
China is, uh, of course, reliant on, uh, on the supply chain of the world as well as the world is reliant on the supply chain of China. So, um, you know, we're, we're even just uh, as, as an example of shopping for cars, they're telling me now the lead times are, you know, two to three months for these cars, whereas uh, before it, it might have been less than one month. So certainly the, the world has been impacted by this. James Sung, great to see you. Thanks for joining us from Shenzhen.